have first yeah. a little video to show you and then we will be interviewing Kiki. Oui, bien sûr. Donc, je suis Charlotte Esnou, je suis attachée culturelle à l'ambassade de France en Indonésie et directrice de l'Institut français. The Lazy Lundi est le nom du partenariat que nous avons monté avec le collectif de joueurs et de gamers indonésiens qui s'appelle The Lazy Monday. Et donc, avec ce collectif d'artistes, euh, nous avons décidé de publier une fois par mois des vidéos euh, qui promeuvent euh, les jeux vidéo français, euh, la créativité française, les studios français, euh, en faisant euh, des tests de jeux, mais aussi des interviews euh, qui présentent euh, voilà, aussi l'écosystème euh, français euh, au public indonésien. Et le partenariat que nous avons avec le collectif de Lazy Monday euh, inclut aussi la participation à de nombreux événements tout au long de l'année, des événements physiques qui font la promotion euh, des jeux français et des jeux indonésiens, évidemment. Et donc, ça peut être euh, des événements euh, dans des, des malls euh, ou bien euh, en ligne aussi, euh, avec la participation euh, d'influenceurs et de streamers français et indonésiens. Donc nous avons choisi d'entrer en partenariat avec la communauté de, de joueurs et de gamers de Lazy Monday parce que c'est une communauté extrêmement active qui regroupe énormément d'abonnés, plus de 450 000 abonnés, qui est très active sur les réseaux sociaux et surtout très en demande aussi de nouvelles trouvailles, de nouveaux contenus. Et les jeux français, la créativité française est tout à fait appropriée à cette cible. En tout cas, c'est le retour que nous a fait de Lazy Monday. Halo semua, dengan gue Sony di sini yang mau memberikan update juga kepada kalian kalau kita akan memiliki kerjasama. Seperti tahun lalu, sebenarnya kita sempat kerjasama juga dengan Ivy dan The French Embassy. Di sini kita akan punya events dan juga beberapa video yang akan kita kerjasama dengan Ivy juga dan gue harap. Kalian senang karena kita juga akan bisa bekerja sama atau bikin konten barengan dengan para developer yang berasal dari Perancis juga dan beberapa juga memang jadi beberapa developer favorit yang gua. Jadi tunggu aja konten-konten kita berikutnya yang bersama Ivy. So surprise, the first video to have was a subtitle. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think we missed the subtitle, so you probably didn't understand the first part. We did not get a word of the second one, so <laughs> we're <laughs> close right now. Well, I think it's not very much of a big deal because you'll be able to explain to us a little bit about the Lazy Monday. What is it about? Basically, uh, the lady explained um, how uh, the Lazy Monday works with uh, French games and how it evolves with mm -hmm. French community. Uh, that 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 was pretty much uh, yeah. pretty much yeah, what pretty happened much, yeah. mm. what did <laughs> what did they say in, in indonesian because we didn't get it yeah we have no idea <laughs> <laughs> so so basically the summary of um the second part is that we have this partnership since two years ago if i remember it's with you also billy with sony uh during the french game we'll play so that's kind of like our first uh, our first touch point uh, with French game and French studios and actually the sentiment and, um, you know, people that are watching are quite interested, uh, you know, while like we're playing and have the developers explaining about the game. Um, so that's kind of what built uh, the partnership with the French embassy and the French okay. uh, Institute uh, with our uh, media. So for ourselves, we are uh, the Lazy Monday or the Lazy Media because we have a lot of uh, different channels under us. We have esports, we have gadgets, uh, but the Lazy Monday is mostly talking about games. Like we talk about indie games, uh, AA, AAA. It's kind of like an independent editorial media. Um, so basically we do game reviews um, and one of the things that actually um, you can say are very quite unique from us is like we make like video game essays and that's what actually we do with um, the French uh, embassy, which is we do interviews with game developers and kind of get their insights about like how to make games, how to market games and um, basically educate. Uh, our viewers about like how it works so they kind of understand like why things are happening in the gaming mm -hmm. industry in a certain way um yeah that's basically the second part in the in the, in the more longer yeah, <laughs> explanation I, <will. laughs> yeah. I feel like it's, it's said a lot so when did the lazy monday originated uh, where which people started it and how many are you in inside of, mm -hmm. of the lazy monday Okay, so we start on 2016. Uh, it use, uh, it's supposed to be Sony, uh, the one that um, our streaming with French game will play two years ago is one of the co-founder co with Aldo. He's currently streaming uh, in the Lazy Monday right now. Um, so the, both of those are the founder of this media. We used to start on Instagram actually, 
Um, but then we start moving into YouTube because like in the past, there's not much um, like YouTube media that they are doing reviews. Usually it's like um, like articles that that's kind mm. of like more popular, right? And then in the past are like magazines. So it's kind of like more written, but us, we're more like uh, jumping in uh, like early into the video format like YouTube. Um, so we do reviews, we do like news, like what's currently happening. And then uh, we actually branch out into um, a lot of segments uh, like mm -hmm. after that, like we do gadgets as well, hardware, um, and then also esports. Um, but then right now we have like from two uh, until like growing four, like it, it's it's kind of struggle because like I'm quite new, but like I think Sony and Aldo can explain it more because uh, like they've been building this uh, like uh, like media since like first small, but then it got very big. Um, but right now we have around 15 people consists of like um, different type of departments. There are someone okay. that are focusing on esports. Um, also, like uh, we, we kind of do merchandising as well. So we okay, create cool. our own like gaming merch um, and also like the gaming reviews and editors and stuff like that. So it's, it's quite small, um, but we're trying to, you know, like create a lot of things from what we have. <laughs> Kind yeah, of, it, it sounds like can, it. Can you maybe tell us a little bit more about your role in the Lazy Monday? What mm -hmm. what do you do yeah, there? Um, so currently what I'm doing is I'm doing social media. Uh, so more, um, I'm focusing more on short videos. So kind of exploration on like, um, like TikTok, you know, like Instagram, like those kind of stuff. And I'm also doing business development. Um, so I'm currently the one that is... Uh, contacting a lot of times with Efi and kind of like, um, you know, organizing like events, like creating, like uh, giving suggestions to our like partners, like what kind of content that is like fun, but also educative. Cause that's kind of like a, one of our mission um, is, you know, to kind of like educate people about video games, but at the same time, like entertain them. Um, so it's not only about like a way of playing games or having fun, it's funny, but like, you know, like kind of give them some things to, to like learn. Uh, from those video games yeah i was a bit curious because we've been talking about charity uh with with our stats before in french it's mm -hmm. it's something very uh very heavy because we do a lot of charity events some of them are extremely big we raise millions literally millions uh yeah. over a specific specifically sorry these events um do mm -hmm. you participate in charity events uh how how does it comes up in indonesia is it something um, that is a bit popular? Is it something emergent? Is it not existing really in, in, in this specific area? I mean, uh, video games and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually quite popular uh, for streamers. I think we do do it in the past as well. And uh, during our anniversary, we do a charity. And I think it's, um, it's kind of popular uh, usually during a certain um, events or causes um like na natural disasters and stuff like mm -hmm. that usually like it's it's kind of the same i think like all over the world um like usually doing like a non-stop streaming and stuff like that but uh for us um because we're more like media based so mm -hmm. we're, we're we we don't really live stream that much even though that's kind of like the thing that we're trying to focus on uh, but we we used to do that um, so we usually do create like this, like we, we stream a lot of different games from like uh, a lot of different people and basically uh, the people that donate uh, to to the stream, uh, we will donate it to, to charity. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, mm -hmm. um, for the first day of the event, we, we talked about uh, a lot about um, inclusivity and accessibility and mm -hmm. does uh, Lazy Monday do things for inclusivity and accessibility? Um, yeah, I, I can say because like uh, our, um, you, you can say that our, our company is not really that big. It's not really corporate. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like you, you can say collective. It's not really a community, like a collective of, of like artists or people that are really passionate with video games. Because um, like all of us came from a whole different backgrounds. Like there's someone that are like, um, for me, myself, I work corporate before. So it's kind of like um, weird. It's, it's kind of like a weird shift. Yeah you know, working corporate uh, to go to like a small uh, media company. Um, and I'm also one, uh, I think uh, I used to be the only woman 
in, in the company so it's yeah. it's kind of also oh, kind of weird because okay. yeah. like maybe the, the lazy monday viewers can like also like give a comment about this because like um they're also kind of uh like weird out like oh there's finally a woman you know like representing uh or like bringing news about video games and i think like i'm quite glad because like um it's it's they're they're very inclusive um and then like i think it's 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 quite cool you know to like show yeah. showcase to other people that like uh like women can also play video games or like very, for, like educated like, or passionate as well about video games even though like uh, I, I love indie games so i talk about it a lot uh, in the lazy monday um yeah so it's 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 quite good to kind of open it up to other people or like especially women that are interested um you know yeah. to talk about and pursue uh, the industry of video games yeah when did you join exactly i don't think you you've mentioned it you said pretty much. Uh, I, I joined, I think, one, I, I, one year ago. Yeah, one okay. year plus. Yes, it's and not that long. Yeah. And so now you're not the only woman anymore, is it? Yes. You said yes, I was the uh, first. Another so. one. Okay. Uh, there's well, actually, uh, but, but like, there's actually a lot of women, uh, like, not really a lot, like, uh, before, but like, for video games, um, like, specifically talking about video games, uh, I, I think I'm the first one. If I'm not mistaken, Aldo, Aldo is watching this <laughs> in the YouTube. Yeah, I'm the first in the video game department uh, talking about okay. games. Yeah. Well, it's okay. important, like, because we're here to talk about video games, so yeah. obviously, yeah. this is this is a point that has to be made. Uh, what would you say about the the French, uh, the, no, not the French, the Indonesian uh, community uh, that of gamers, literally? How they, uh, how are they perceived over there? Um, is it a close mm -hmm. community? How, how does it work? I, I think it's it's more like I, I can say more diverse because um, like we we play a lot like if if you know Indonesia we we are a huge country um, like we consist of a lot of different islands and um, a lot of different people playing different games as well so mm -hmm. like um, Indonesia is one of the biggest mobile game users. Um, so yeah. like esports is very huge for us, especially like mobile esports. Um, so like they, it's it's their own community, like the mobile esports. And then you have um, like people that are interested in console gaming. They have their own community. PC gaming, they they have their own community as well. Um, so I think it's it's very diverse, and I believe they are they're close in their own, you know, their own interests. I can yeah. say. Uh, but like for for the lazy monday we we try to cater a lot of you know those uh, so that's why we have like esports department so so focus talking about esports um and then us in general we talk about console games pc games uh we we don't really meddle it's it's very rare um that we talk about mobile games but i think like mm -hmm. we if it's something interesting um we we try to cover it as well um yeah so i think it's it's a very diverse um well, and because I, I, like there's a lot of the platform as well. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of platforms, and we've been just told that um, Indonesia has three times more inhabitants than France. Yeah. So obviously, it's more <laughs> people. It's maybe harder to to gather uh, to to gather together around the same subject. So yeah, yep. yeah. I was I was wondering what are the objectives of the Lazy Monday for this year's going? Have you this had year. okay? Yeah. Oh, this year, or if you have any other ideas, maybe in the, the more long term, uh, feel free. Okay, so if you saw in the video, um, there's a gamers to like a gamers to gamers festival. I don't know if you see it, it's very fast. So that's kind of like our first project happening last year on December. It's a mini game festival. We're trying to make it like uh, if you know Gamescom or like those kind of gaming convention, that's we were trying to make that uh, like very, very small, um, you know, part of it. Yeah um and the the it's it's sold out in like very fast the tickets because we sell tickets right and then like the like people are very excited you know there's finally after covid there's finally a, a gaming festival um and we we do it like 15 of us it's very difficult wow. i can <laughs> to, only imagine you know, uh, yeah 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 i create an event from zero we create from zero we find a sponsor we design everything the the um, I, I, I will share the, f the video uh, later. Um, so we manage everything. We recruit the volunteers and everything. And um, it's very tiring because we, we also do media. So during yeah. managing the events, we also need to review games and stuff like that. Uh, but I think that's one of the things that we want to do again. Uh, so create events, you know, because like um, 
right now after COVID, like people want to go to an event, they want to meet up, they want yeah, to meet new sure. communities, you know, experience games, meet developers and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of like one of the things that we want to do. Uh, also mm -hmm. with the French embassy as well, with the Institute of France. Um, we also want to work with them to have more physical events like community gatherings and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's great to meet uh, fellow gamers, you know, talk about gaming, maybe discover something that we also didn't know as, as a media. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of our big focus uh, for this year. Okay. And mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. more long term then? Yep. Yeah. Hopefully we can create bigger events yeah. with bigger venues, mm -hmm. hopefully, <laughs> yeah, in the future. You mentioned a little bit uh, esports earlier. Um, mm -hmm. I, I was wondering, is, is that something you personally are interested in? Because um, I understand that you're interested in really skill-based video games usually, um, considering that you play a lot of roguelike, roguelites. Uh, <laughs> is esports is e something you're interested in? Um, yeah. mm, I play, I, I like Dota. Uh, Dota is one of, um, uh, it's also difficult, but like, um, I started learning it quite yeah, recently. It's, it's uh, I think really that's really only... hard. <laughs> Yeah. It's a really hard game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I played Dota recently with uh with my friend. He teach me from the beginning and I think it's it's one of those esports that you cannot play by yourself if you're if you mm. want to start to play it yeah. from zero. Um yeah, I, I, I follow that. Uh but I, I I'm not really into shooting. I, I think I'm very bad, especially um oh, I like feel Battle you. Royale. <laughs> yeah, with, yeah, me I too. think I, I I'm so bad at it. I think all of the TLM members can say like uh, like don't ask me to play Battle Royale. <laughs> but like um yeah, I think I think Dota is the only e sports that I'm uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of hours in that game. I'm asking because uh, I feel like we are missing a lot of uh, representation of um, women in esports, in particular. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, uh, I, I think in Indonesia as well, it's, it's kind of like start growing. Um, it's it's very interesting because like right now, um, I think internationally as well, like casters, um, they they involve more female casters, and mm. analysts, and I think in Dota as well, especially. Um, mm. And I think it's, it's great. It's like, um, you know, like the, the community and the game start yeah. very welcoming yeah, we and open. And, and that's important because like for, for us, at least, um, we want to feel safe when we play, you know, like video yeah, games. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah, like by, by showcasing that um, we, we, are, we are welcome to play the game and engage with the community, um, that's a great start. Yeah. That's really what do you feel like um, the Indonesian video game uh, sector can be the most proud of if you have an idea to this answer? Like, mm. what, what is the thing that differentiates Indonesia from other country in the video game world? Mm, I think um, if, you, if you talk about the game developer side, uh, I think like we start growing a lot. We start getting a lot more international attention. Um, especially recently, there's bigger platforms start to put a lot of attention to indie games. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they start to, uh, and especially if, if, if you heard from the previous um, discussion, IGDX, uh, Indonesian Gaming Developer Exchange, that's one of the, it, it's great, you know, to kind of like expose our games um, mm -hmm. to the international market, especially publisher. Because like, uh, for, for my opinion, I think publisher actually plays a huge role you know, in promoting and making your games go out there. Because like recently I, 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 I kind of discovered that a lot of games that I play sometimes, I only knew I only knew the publisher name, but not really yeah. the developer name. You know, mm. oh, this, this game yeah. is from this publisher, but like, oh, it's actually from a, like an individual developer mm. or like a small team developer. So I think like it's, it's playing a huge role. And I think like Indonesian games start to, um, you know, get, um, attracted by uh, international publisher, yeah, and I think that's a huge step, you know, to get our games out there. Um, yeah, that's what we were talking yeah. about earlier yeah. uh, in the in mm -hmm. the conference. So it's just cross. <laughs> so that that's that's fairly good. Is there yeah. anything else you'd like to add that we didn't ask? Maybe. Um, uh, I I think I'm, I'm thank you so much uh, first of all for inviting us and want to collaborate with us um, in this event and touchpoint. I think it's. Uh, it's important 
um to kind of engage with developers i think i think like for, for me personally because I, I i like indie games i follow so that's why i knew most of the games that we're playing today um and like um like it's it's great to see like what's happening behind the scene of like you know yeah. the development of the game and then like uh the thought process the idea you know so uh maybe it can inspire other people to kind of start their own if they're like hesitating you know like i, I think i can make a game you know because like um I think it's it's important to to kind of learn that um, starting a game it's it's not difficult it's it's not no it's difficult but it's not impossible yeah. yeah that's yeah. that's the right word yeah so like this this kind of session is is great because like um, it's it's kind of aligned with our mission as well to kind of mm -hmm. educate you know like entertain yeah, sure. and educate that's kind of like the thing so like people can learn more about what's behind the scene and learn how to promote promote a game you know like know what game is great what's not good um and if it's not good like how can we help them you know like maybe go to discord and like give them feedback and stuff like that so like it's not like let's make this community less toxic mm -hmm. i guess <laughs> yeah, yeah more yeah, more yeah, like please. more like <laughs> giving would, like yeah, suggestion would, yeah. improvement like hey this game is bad because like this is this is i don't think this is not good you know because like mm -hmm. I, I i really strongly believe that they also want their game to be good but yeah, like yeah. maybe there's like a blind side you know you cannot see things because you too you're too focused in developing the game that you don't know what's happening around you like what uh the i think one of the developers say that because like you're too focused on yeah. developing so like a publisher can help so i think as a media uh, especially like a gaming community we can also do that to kind of you know bring awareness and like help them to promote like their games. Yeah, that's a great yeah. message. Really yeah. enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much, Kiki, for this interview. You see, you did absolutely brilliant <laughs> the yeah. whole day. You, you were stressed. You have no reason. You were perfect. Yeah, thank you so much for oh, being thank here you. with us. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. We're going we're gonna to leave you uh, be, pro it's probably late. What time is it in Indonesia? uh it's 7 30 at night oh. <laughs> yeah you'll you'll be just fine to like have dinner and have the rest of your day <laughs> although your yeah. night going yes. on yes so thank you so much it was lovely to meet you again and uh have a great day thanks uh to the lazy monday in general even if sunny could not be here with us today uh hope you'll get some rest and yeah. uh, get better soon yep yeah. thank, thank you so much thank you so much bye bye, bye. bye. thank you so much